Have you ever felt like the world just shifted? Maybe you distinctly remember something one way, but now it's completely different. The color of a famous logo, a line from a beloved movie, or even major historical events seem out of sync with what you know to be true. That eerie phenomenon is called the Mandela Effect, and it's more than just a trick of memory. Now here's where things get even stranger. What if the Mandela Effect isn't just a quirk of human perception? What if it's evidence that our reality is being manipulated? Scientists at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, have been smashing particles together in their massive collider for years, unlocking secrets of the universe. But what if in doing so, they've also been tearing holes in the fabric of reality itself? Could CERN's experiments be causing these strange shifts, glitches in our simulation, that leave us questioning everything we know? Today, we're diving deep into the connection between CERN, the Mandela Effect, and the simulation theory to uncover how these threads weave together into a startling possibility. Stick with us, because by the end of this video, you'll see how the largest scientific experiment in human history might just be playing with the very code of our existence. Ready to question everything? Let's dive in. The Mandela Effect gets its name from a strange phenomenon. Thousands of people around the world clearly remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison during the 1980s. Yet in our current timeline, Mandela was released, became president of South Africa, and passed away peacefully in 2013. How can so many people share the same vivid, false memory? This phenomenon has sparked debates about memory, psychology, and, more intriguingly, the nature of reality itself. What if these false memories aren't mistakes, but evidence of parallel realities colliding? What if, instead of misremembering, we're glimpsing remnants of an alternate timeline? Now, enter CERN. This sprawling laboratory in Geneva is home to the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a machine capable of recreating the conditions of the Big Bang. CERN's stated goal is to unlock the mysteries of the universe, to find out what makes up our reality at its most fundamental level. But with great power comes great responsibility, and many have wondered, could their experiments have unintended side effects? Some theorists argue that when CERN smashes particles together, it's not just creating new particles. It's destabilizing the very fabric of space-time. Think of our universe as a web. Every collision at the LHC might send ripples through that web, creating tiny tears that alter our reality. And if we're living in a simulation, CERN could be tampering with the very code that runs it. Is it possible that their experiments are rewriting small pieces of our reality? In the next section, we'll explore how this might be happening and why it's so hard to prove. The problem with connecting CERN to the Mandela effect is that it's difficult to measure or prove. Science relies on observable, repeatable phenomena, and the Mandela effect often feels personal and subjective. After all, if your memories of reality differ from someone else's, how can you prove your version is correct? But here's where things get interesting. The experiments at CERN are not just theoretical. They're actively pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. For example, when the Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, was discovered in 2012, it confirmed theories about how particles gain mass. This was a groundbreaking achievement, but it also raised new questions. What else is CERN capable of discovering? or unleashing. Some theorists believe that high-energy collisions at CERN could be creating microscopic black holes or wormholes. These phenomena might not just exist in isolation. They could interact with our universe in ways we don't yet understand. If they're opening brief windows to parallel realities or destabilizing our own, this might explain the Mandela effect. Another challenge is the nature of the simulation itself. If we're in a simulated reality, then CERN's experiments could be akin to hacking the system. By probing the fundamental particles of existence, they might be triggering changes in the simulation's code. Imagine running a program so complex that even small adjustments ripple outward, changing details like a movie quote or a historical fact. Could CERN's search for truth inadvertently be rewriting our reality? In the next section, we'll explore the evidence that supports these theories including some of the most famous examples of the Mandela Effect and how they might connect to CERN's work. 
Let's take a closer look at some of the Mandela Effect's most famous examples. One of the most cited is the Monopoly Man's monocle. Do you remember the Monopoly mascot with a monocle? He's never worn one, though many are convinced they distinctly recall it. Another example involves brand logos and product names. People vividly recall Febreze being spelled with two E's, but in reality, it's always been Febreze. These discrepancies seem small, yet they evoke strong emotional reactions because they challenge our confidence and memory. These might seem like harmless inconsistencies, but what if they're signs of deeper shifts? What if they are glitches in the system of our perceived reality? And more importantly, what might be causing these glitches to emerge now? This brings us to CERN. In 2012, the same year the Higgs boson was discovered, reports of the Mandela effect surged online. Coincidence? Or did CERN's experiments create a tipping point, destabilizing the fabric of our simulated reality? The Large Hadron Collider is not only the most powerful particle accelerator in the world, but it's also probing the very foundation of existence. Could its work inadvertently be tampering with the code of reality? Adding to the intrigue is the behavior of particles at the quantum level. In quantum mechanics, particles behave in ways that seem to defy logic, existing in multiple states until observed. This mirrors the idea of a simulation rendering reality only when it's needed. If our universe functions like a computer simulation, CERN's deep probing into quantum physics could be disrupting this delicate system, causing glitches we perceive as the Mandela effect. What if the Mandela effect isn't just a series of peculiar memory discrepancies, but rather proof that reality itself is shifting in response to experiments we barely understand? Could CERN's work be uncovering or even triggering these shifts? In the next section, we'll explore a breakthrough idea that could not only explain how CERN might be causing the Mandela effect, but also reveal its potential role in unraveling the ultimate nature of our existence. Stay with us because the implications are mind-bending. The most compelling argument connecting CERN to the Mandela effect comes down to simulation theory itself. If our reality is a program, then CERN is effectively testing the limits of its code. Think of the LHC as a debugger. Every particle collision it generates might be a stress test for the system, revealing vulnerabilities or triggering unintended changes. This idea gains traction when we consider the glitches that people have reported. What if the Mandela effect isn't just an accident, but a sign that the simulation is recalibrating itself? When CERN creates conditions similar to the Big Bang, it might be forcing the program to update its parameters, resulting in small but noticeable changes. What's even more intriguing is the idea that CERN might know more than they're letting on. Some theorists speculate that CERN's experiments are not just about understanding the universe, but about controlling it. If they've discovered evidence of a simulation, would they tell the world, or would they quietly use that knowledge to shape reality as they see fit? In the next section, we'll look at the implications of this theory and explore how it changes our understanding of the universe and ourselves. The connection between CERN and the Mandela effect challenges everything we know about reality. If their experiments are causing these strange shifts, it's not just a scientific curiosity, it's a revelation that we might be living in a programmed reality, a simulation governed by rules we are only beginning to grasp. From quantum mechanics to particle collisions, CERN's work pushes the boundaries of knowledge and ventures into the fundamental nature of existence. But as they probe deeper into the building blocks of our universe, the unintended consequences, glitches, shifts, and anomalies, raise profound questions about what we perceive as real. Are these the limits of a simulation struggling to process increasingly complex disruptions? Or are we on the brink of uncovering the hidden mechanics of the cosmos itself? While we may never have definitive proof, one thing is certain. The Mandela effect in CERN's groundbreaking experiments encourage us to question the fabric of reality. They challenge us to think beyond the physical and consider a reality far more intricate, interconnected, and enigmatic than we ever imagined. And perhaps that shift in perspective is the most transformative discovery of all. What do you think? Is CERN behind the Mandela effect? Are we living in a simulation that's being rewritten in real time? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your theories. 
If you enjoyed this dive into the mysteries of reality, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Check out our other videos on glitches in the simulation that defy explanation. Thank you for watching.